All right. Time for my two cents. Plan it first thing. Top it over. <clears throat> Should we move this stuff well, out of the way? Where's the chain? I'll grab it. I'll pull it. There's a little. Yeah, let's just make a little space in case it goes sideways. Okay, it can't go sideways. Let's... Oh shit, it's heavy. Uh, what? It's heavy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just hold it so I can get down. Wait, wait, wait. Two, three. Oh my god, it moved. I can't fucking believe that. It's like 300 pounds. Put this on my tool. Speed, oh, cool. speed loader. Just for its high ab. Like, is it another sleeve? There's a sleeve like about an inch and a half inside this one. That's the pit that must be just a piston. No, it's just a bearing. Okay. Oh boy. It's out. What's happening? You need me to help you. It's gonna. It wants to go that way. Does you want it? me to come up there and help you send it that way? I can't send. Uh, I'm Here, so wait petty. a second. Just see if you. Are you having trouble keeping it stable? No. Okay, keep it stable. Rock it a little. Okay, wait. Today is the day that the Mercury comes with me to slowly start getting fixed up. Uh, before I started making YouTube videos, we pulled the engine and uh, it's actually running now in a dry garage. So that's good. Before we went too far on this project, we wanted to make sure that the uh, the engine was going to run. It had a huge boom on it, but uh, that's not going to be part of the uh, project anymore. So as you can see, I have some straps on it. Engine's not there, so I, I tied up the drive shaft. That should be fine going down the road. Also, this hood is not latching because it was uh, when we pulled the engine, we had to remove a bunch of parts. So I got to strap that down.
we'll see what the tow truck thinks of my strap job there, but uh, I think it's going to be fine. It's Front wheels are turning, back wheels are not turning. There it goes. Oh, these ones these ones broke loose. That's good. So one side broke loose, left side broke loose, right side still jammed. It's getting up there. Holy cow. If we're lucky, the back ones will break loose on this side also. The front wheels look like they're holding air. So I think they're worried that it's too long actually passenger side in the back is still not rolling it would be nice if they would roll but still three out of four is not bad now he's driving the vehicle forward Oh, those back right wheels want to turn. Come on. Nope. Oh, it's going to break it loose. Come on. Yes, it's turning. Oh, it turned a bit. It turned a bit. And that sounds like that's all they can do. Well, now we're going driving. We're hanging right off the end, but it's, I don't know what they can do. But now we're going driving. That is an exact fit, my friends. That is an exact fit. Flies are bad. Okay, it's tight. We're on the next part of the project. All right, here we go.
So we made it. Ouais, ok, bonne idée. There she sits. No, no, not at me. Nice.
So I made some good progress here today, just cleaning it up before we uh, roll it into the barn. It looks a bit shinier. Actually, to be honest, not as shiny as I thought it might, but uh, definitely better than it was. As you can see, the passenger side and the back, I've been working on it to see if I can get it to roll so I don't destroy uh, all my uh, hard work in the barn. But uh, what I might just do is put the Dayton rims back on loosely so they roll on this hub instead of uh, roll as one unit and uh, just roll it in that way and then take it all apart because I'm planning on taking it apart anyway so I don't want to waste too much time just unseizing it. A lot of sections on the truck I'm surprised actually didn't clean up more. But uh, as I said, overall good. Have the doors closed right now because uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but we're about to get some weather and uh, that's it. See, shot inside here too also. So that's it, just gonna uh, let the storm pass and then hopefully work on <clears throat> putting her inside. I don't know if I mentioned this, but what I'm trying to do is I'm put, trying to put these Dayton rims back on loose because the hub is locked, center's locked, and I want to see I want to see if I can move the truck oh, just by letting these spin. You know, put the wedge and the bolt, the wedge and the nut on loose, and just let it ride. Just let it kind of roll around the hub, but I see that the valve stem is there also. So, so I think I'm going to try with the spit, the the inner inside rim, the spacer, the wedges, and the nuts, and we'll see how it goes. I have to say, these Dayton rings make me nervous. All right, so I've got the drive shaft strapped up I got all the chocks out from behind the wheels and I got the tractor rigged so that I can pull and push let's see what we can do Yeah. 
so far so good but I'm gonna be running out of room on the driver's side but at the same time I have a really tight fit on the passenger side what I think I'll do though actually I don't know if you guys noticed but I think the hub's turning here so that's good I hit it with the sledgehammer a few times that might have loosened up the brake what I'm gonna do is turn the steering wheel a little bit and uh, hopefully get us a little bit tighter on the passenger side That's definitely that's definitely going to be over correction but I'll jump out and fix it again This is the tail lights. It ended up just getting ripped out. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can sneak even further. 